Hi, I'm Michael Twelftree. Welcome to Two Hands. I, I love every day, no matter what I'm doing with, with our business. To me, I still look at it as a hobby. To me, this isn't a job. I, I, every day I like to get up and to, to do what I've been doing and to be in vineyards first thing in the morning. I do it anyway. It, it, so, you know, it's the greatest job in the world because I never punch on and never punch off. It's just, I want to be here. How, how would you characterise, if it's possible, how would you characterise or generalise your market for your wine? Like, who are they and... and, oh, and the, the bottom line is, is, it doesn't matter who they are, and that's no disrespect, but quality will always sell. So if we kind of, we've always declassified, like, uh, recent vintage, we declassified 34% of our production to keep our quality high. Uh, another vintage I'd have classified 38% of my production. Um, in another year I classified 3% of my production. So I suppose I always look at it as whether my wines are on the table in, in Russia or in South Korea or in Toronto or London or Jakarta. I always look at it and go, well, you know, I control the process until it's got into the bottle. And then we do an enormous amount of effort to help market the wines and to get them into people's mouths. The secret of selling wine is, is get it to people's mouths, let them make the decision. Um, a lot of press and all of that is really handy, it does bring you to the fore. But if people don't enjoy the wines, they won't come back to buy another bottle. How does Two Hands hold up against some of the more established brands uh, from well, South Australia? Well, I suppose the fact that we, we work on regionality, that you know, the wine will say McLaren Vale or Clare Valley on it or um, Langhorne Creek, um, where 80% of the wines made from Australia come from southeastern Australia. They're all kind of just blended from all these different regions. So a bottle of Penfolds doesn't really mean much because it's from southeastern Australia. It doesn't talk about any region. So it's very it's generic? Very generic and what we wanted to do was we were the first winery to come out on the world stage and to show Shiraz from six geographically different regions within Australia and we just thought it was such a fascinating story and the last 12 years has proven that it is a great story. We always make sure that with, with all of our distributors that they're actually getting the wine and opening it and, and letting people make their mind up. I think that's why we've got such a great tasting room here in Rossa and we've got no literature and there's no reviews in our tasting room because we want people to come and discover us and that's the world over. We really want to get the wine out and for people to make that. Why six Shiraz? Why six regions? Well really, when we started Two Hands, we didn't really know either, but we thought it was such an interesting and compelling story to look at, does Shiraz taste different from this place to this place to this place? And over the journey, we've realised that yes, those early beliefs have come true and that the wines are completely and distinctively different. We think we're very brave to have gone down the road that we have to show this regionality because it's not the done thing in Australia. We're so glad that we have. What makes me so interested about Two Hands is the fact that we deal with so many vineyard sources across so many regions with so many different grape varietals. And so we have this kind of huge puzzle. And what my aim is, is to work the puzzle out every year. And what I love about it is, is that I never know what every day is going to bring. What I do love, the fact is when I walk away from it at the end of the day, I've known that we've made some pretty good wine.